the 1500 series window, compression tape keeper rail removal and reinstallation. The 1500 series single hung window has a unique feature which allows removal of the keeper rail and top glass so as to allow temporary passage of large items through them without removal of the entire window. The simple tools you will need are a ladder for access to the window, a stiff putty knife, wood chisel or 5-in-1 tool, drill driver, and a hand screwdriver which may be handy. Note the label configuration on this unit. This is for the compression tape product used for sealing the insulated glass unit, or IGU, to the vinyl frame. This compression tape only adheres to the IGU. Let's begin by removing the sash. First, raise the operational bottom sash by first unlocking the lock or locks if more than one, and raise the sash approximately four to six inches. Then push the tilt latches located on top at both ends of the sash toward the lock and tilt the operating sash in to you at a 90 degree angle. Then, while maintaining that 90 degree angle, pull up on one side of the bottom rail so it frees the tilt pins from the balance shoe. Once this is achieved, lift up on the opposite end of the bottom rail to release the opposite tilt pin from the balance shoe. Place the removed sash in a safe location where it will not get broken, damaged, or lost. The removal of the glazing bead which secures the glass in the upper portion of the 1500 single hung window must be done in the proper sequence to ensure the unit is not damaged or more importantly an injury does not occur. In this illustration we began on the right hand side vertical glazing bead. You may begin on the left hand side if you so desire. Using a stiff putty knife as seen here or a 5-in-1 tool or wood chisel locate the small seam located between the glazing bead and the sash frame and insert your tool into the seam. Gently pry the glazing bead toward the center of the window, repeating this process up the entire length of the glazing bead. Do not pull as this will damage the glazing bead. Once the vertical glazing bead is removed, place it with the operating sash where it won't be damaged. Repeat this process on the other side. Note that the vertical glazing bead or mitered on each end. The next step is to remove the bottom glazing bead in the same manner as you did the vertical glazing bead. Starting on either side, simply pry the glazing bead toward the center of the window unit and repeat this process along its entire length. The final step for removal of the glazing bead will be at the top. This is left for last to reduce the risk of the glass falling from the window unit. As before, pry the glazing bead from one end and begin working your way across the entire length, taking care to use your free hand or have someone assist by holding the glass in from the interior side of the window. Safely secure the glazing bead and removal tool temporarily out of the way so both hands can be free for the removal of the top glass. Using both hands or an assistant, tilt the IGU in at the top. Continue tilting the IGU until you can firmly grasp it in both hands and gently remove it from the frame. Taking care not to damage the gasket applied to the exterior surface of the glass as this is needed when the glass is reset. Place the IGU with the sash and glazing bead where it won't get damaged or lost. Remove and place the setting blocks with the IGU. To remove the keeper rail, begin by using either a drill driver with a number two Phillips head bit or a number two hand driver to remove the two screws holding the keeper rail in place. Place these screws with the sash, glazing bead, and top glass as you will need to reuse them. Once this is done, you must depress the keeper rail anchor buttons located on the bottom and top of the meeting rail. Using a screwdriver, simply depress and rotate the keeper rail out of the anchor. Using a flat screwdriver or stiff putty knife, five in one tool, or wood chisel, Gently pry the keeper rail away from the frame while pulling straight in toward you. Continue to pull the meeting rail in on this side. Repeat these steps to free the keeper rail on the other side. Remove the keeper rail and place it with the other stored items. Now large items such as drywall or carpeting can be brought through the window frame. To reinstall the keeper rail, simply locate the rail and hold it evenly across the frame in the area where the anchors are located. The lock keeper should be facing you and be oriented up. Once centered over the anchors, 
Gently but firmly push toward the exterior of the home until the keeper rail snaps into place. Verify that the anchor buttons have snapped into the holes on top and bottom of the keeper rail on both ends. Next, using a number 2 Phillips head screwdriver, reinstall the two keeper rail anchor screws, one on each end. Apply the setting blocks across the keeper rail so that one is located directly over each lock and within two inches of each corner, but not covering the anchor buttons which also function as a weep system for this window. Once the setting blocks have been placed across the keeper rail, it is time to set the glass. To do so, you should secure the top glazing bead close by or in your back pocket. Next, firmly grasp and set the glass into the opening on the setting blocks with the printed side of the labels facing in and the large green P facing outside and the print should not be upside down or sideways. The glazing bead has a leg on it that must go in a kerf designed into the window to adequately secure the glass. Then push into the corner and continue snapping the glazing bead in by pressing straight in and doing so across the entire top rail. The next piece of glazing bead to be applied should be at the bottom using the other square cut glazing bead and repeating the process as you did at the top. The vertical glazing bead has the mitered ends and should be applied next. It doesn't matter which side. But start an inch or so from the corner and once the glazing bead is snapped in, slide it into place and finish out the process. Repeat for the other side. To reinstall the sash, firmly grasp the sash and hold it with the exterior facing up and the locks facing toward you at a 90 degree angle. Place the tilt pin on one side in the balance shoe and then drop the other tilt pin into the balance shoe at the opposite side. Adjust the sash so the bottom rail of the operating sash is relatively level and rotate the sash into the operating position until the tilt latches engage the side jams of the window. Raise and lower the sash to ensure operation is smooth and without issue. If there are issues, remove the sash and reinstall, verifying the tilt pins are seated in the balance shoes. For further assistance, contact us at PlyGymWindows.com.